Hello, welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. I'm back at the stove today, so I'm at a different angle, but I'm going to show you how I fry my chicken. First of all, you can see that I have a black iron skillet. Now, I mixed egg and milk together, and y'all, I didn't realize this until I opened my chicken, but when I did, instead of it being chicken breast fillets, it was thin chicken breast fillets. So these are so, so thin, but we're just not going to take them long to cook. And I don't want the grease to get too hot for sure, but I'm just going to make sure that I have floured it real good. And I'm going to put it in my grease. I, I've never bought this thin chicken breast fillets before. Ever. But you can't waste them. And I had already told Harold I was going to fry them. So, that's what I'm doing. Of course, he likes crust, and, and also, he's probably going to love this. But I think I've told you before that my mother could fry the best chicken of anybody I've ever known. And she used a black iron skillet and fried it just real slow. I've got it on medium. And, uh, was delicious. She could do fried chicken and fried okra the best. You know, I had somebody tell me last week, they left a comment, that they had never had okra. So, I'll have to introduce y'all to okra. Chicken's kind of messy to cook, but it's so good. Let me rinse my hands. I'll clean up in just a little bit, but you want that to brown on one side. And when it's brown, we're going to turn it over and brown the other side. So instead of you just watching this brown, I'm going to stop the video and I'll be back. Okay. I turned one piece over to see if it was ready, and it was, so I'll frost you back. See how pretty that is? Okay, wait just a little bit on that. But you know, chicken and mashed potatoes and biscuits and gravy, oh, that's so good. Now, what I normally do is I get a plate and I get some paper towels and put the paper towels on the plate. So when I take it up, the grease will drain. Hey, let me touch this up, turn this other piece up. Oh, yeah. Pretty. Although this is thin chicken, it's going to be very good. It's going to not have as much thick meat. But the pieces are big, so what they did was, I'm sure they pressed it down. It's the same as a, a chicken finger, a good sized chicken finger would be, but it's all pressed down. See? Isn't that pretty? And since these are so, so thin, it's not going to take them long. I have a thermometer 
that you can put in. See, it's already up to 205 degrees, so, you know, the chicken is done. You just want it to, uh, to brown. You don't want to cook it too long because it'll be tough. It kind of looks like a pork chop, but it's not. It's chicken. So I'm going to touch this one up right here. Let me see what the temperature in this one. It's thicker. To let that and cook a little bit longer. Oh no, this one's done. Doesn't that look like a pork chop? Doesn't. Wow. Turn that one back over. So that is how I cook my fried chicken. I just wanted you to see it didn't take long. This one I'm going to let it cook a little bit longer, slowly, slowly because it was a little bit thicker. Let's see what you can see. I'm not going all the way to the bottom because it'll show up hotter if that frog touches the 193 right now. Okay. But anyway, remember to be salt and light. Y'all fry you some chicken and make some biscuits. Look at Brenda Gant's page and you'll see how she makes those delicious buttermilk biscuits. And we're going to have it in a little bit. And y'all just be salt and light. And I'll be back soon.